Know more about O-Connect. Worldwide connectivity is today's necessity. O-Connect, developed by OnPassive, is an HD audio and online video conference tool that provides unmatched clarity and quality to every virtual connect. O-Connect comes with a highly detailed dashboard that allows every user to manage and track their activity with utmost ease. With unlimited participant addition to a meeting, and its many features like dual screen share, external link integration, easy invites, and others, the tool simplifies every virtual collaboration. O-Connect offers an automated speech-to-text service in multiple languages bridging any vernacular gap between the participants. Providing seamless connection with unmatched ease, O-Connect brings to the four advantages of AI enablement that enhances the output of every virtual meeting in a world that gets smaller, with distance becoming immaterial as a limitation. Key features of O-Connect Bring unsurpassable ease and quality to every online meeting you have. With an AI-enabled platform steeped with the latest features, O-Connect gives every online interaction a new experience. Send invite by email address. Schedule events, and convert speech to text. Auto language translation. Attractive chat emoji. Schedule events, and convert speech to text. FAQ looking for something else? Here are some of the most requested sources for information. 1. What is webinar? A webinar is a seminar, workshop conducted on the internet. Webinars are commonly used in sales, promoting and marketing, education sectors, or employee training sessions. Webinars are likewise called video conferences, web conferences, and webcasts. They permit users in various parts of the world to see, hear, interact with the presenters, ask questions, and respond to surveys. 2. How many events can I host on the O-Connect platform? O-Connect permits you to create as many events as you need in your record. You can schedule and prepare hundreds of events and have them accessible on your dashboard. You are likewise ready to choose the type of your upcoming events. 3. Can I organize only one event at a time? You can put together only one event at a time, meaning that the events cannot overlap yet can be hosted consistently. 4. What technology does O-Connect use? The audio-video technology that O-Connect uses is WebRTC and HTML5 technology. It is the best quality that connects the browser with O-Connect continuously. This technology not just makes your work with the application smooth and significantly more comfortable at the same time. Most importantly, it delivers your webinar audience razor-sharp audio-video quality. 5. Can O-Connect be integrated with social media platforms? Indeed, it very well may be integrated with YouTube and Facebook. 6. How to create a webinar. Registered users can create and organize webinars soon after logging in from the schedule menu to create webinar options. 7. How to add attendees. Registered users can add participants and presenters after creating event subtitles and click on Create an Invite, which will prompt adding participants and presenters. 8. Is it possible to limit access to an event room? You can create a password to secure event rooms, so just participants with the password can join. 9. Can attendees register for my event? Indeed, they can, yet you need to enable it when creating an event. 10. Can I redirect my attendees to a website after the registration? Indeed. You can redirect your participants to your thank you page or any landing page by entering a URL in the call to action tab. 11. How can I reschedule an event? To reschedule the event, users can go to the past event segment, click on the action and edit the event's details. 12. How do I resend an invitation? Anytime you modify an event, the framework prompts you with the alternative of resending the invitation. 13. How do I enter a scheduled event or a permanent room? While making a webinar after login in or navigating from the schedule menu Create Webinar, we have chosen Access Type. If the user chooses Open to All then that respective webinar will be accessible for all invitees at all times. If the user chooses Password, 
The user needs to give a password for that webinar, and all participants will enter that webinar by providing the same password. 14. How do I join an event? You'll require the URL of the webinar room. Click on it or paste it into the browser address bar to go to the webinar room. 15. How do I set up my camera and sound? After you sign in to the webinar room, click settings on the right side of the window. Move the switch by use camera and use microphone to the on position and choose your gadgets. 16. Can I create an option to create a room for everyone? Yes, we have the option to make a room, open to all. 17. How to create a room for the selected audience? Yes, we have an option to make a room, password. 18. When can I schedule a meeting? You can schedule a meeting quickly or later, by blocking the calendar. 19. What are the types of meetings? There are two types of meetings, permanent meetings and temporary meetings. 20. In a meeting, who is the presenter? The individual who has access to the presentation is a presenter. 21. Can a participant be a presenter? Yes, the access is provided by the host. 22. Can I share a file during a presentation? Yes, you can share the documents during the presentation. 23. Can I add an attendee in the middle of the meeting? Yes, you have an alternative option to send an invitation in the middle of a meeting. 24. Do we have the option to conduct meeting with various participants? Yes, our tool is built to conduct meetings with one-to-one -one or many. 25. Can a participant start a meeting? No, participants are not approved and authorized to start the meeting. Instead, they will wait in the room. No one but the host can begin the meeting. 26. What is the maximum number of attendees participating in a meeting? Unlimited attendees can participate in a meeting. 27. Can I join the meeting once it is started? You can join the meeting if the meeting is open. 28. Who has the right to lock a meeting? The host has the authority to lock or unlock a meeting. 29. Can we broadcast a video? Yes, we have a choice to communicate and broadcast the video. 30. If we are stuck with OConnect, how do we come to know about the logical flow of OConnect? We have a support team working to answer the user queries, and you will also find many details in the on-users manual related to the OConnect.